That was pure luck, really. Like lightning. Fight! You won't strike twice. <laughs> There is a first time for everything, Kung Lao. Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. How could I have... Congratulations, Raiden. For the tournament, you will need this. Forged by the Elder Gods, it gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead, try it. Necessary? In addition to possessing great might, the outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. <laughs> I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. Do not become drawn in. You must focus on the task at hand. Sindel's daughters, yes. They do not disappoint. We are Earthrealm's ambassadors, Johnny. We'll show them respect, not unwanted attention. Lord Liu Kang, welcome. Thank you, Princess Melina. You remember my sister? Of course, Princess Kitana. May I introduce Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi Takahashi, and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please. Six-armed beings are not Nadas. The monks described them, 
But seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. As did all of Outworld, I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. First Constable, our route was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, Your Highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi. The palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. <laughs> Worry expends energy for no purpose, Raiden. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Red alert. Incoming stock villain. General Shah. Do not let him go to you. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earth Realm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earth Realmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy, to continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory, as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, 
I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Thank you for the match, First Constable. My compliments, Raiden, on a well-fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in, molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. <laughs> in whose army have you served? In what wars have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Fight! Simple farmer. I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet.
I'm sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raven. Though he may not yet know it. Do you recognize everyone here? Most, yes. From your descriptions. Except for him. That is Rain, the High Mage of Outworld. Not his given name, but one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Are you unwell, Princess? Uh, I'm fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. Though the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age, the memories of that strife still linger. My husband Jared believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, Champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all... That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission... You may go. It is bad enough we may lose to the Earthrealmers. But then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, Your Majesty? Again with this? If you must. We must act on the Sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises. Shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, Your Majesty. Do not forget that, General. Come. You asked to see us? I saw what happened this evening. Uh, there was nothing. It was something I ate. Was it? I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Kitana will take your place. What? There are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams! Your illness is your fault. Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just needed time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... That's your problem, Melina. You never think. A mother is only trying to protect you, sister. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. For you to hold the throne, we must keep your secret. <sighs> you 
you continue to surprise Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Then next, you face my daughter, Katana. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, your highness. I will win this fight. For her, my empress, and all of our world. Fight! Quite well, Princess. As do you, Earthrealmer. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again. Under different circumstances. It's time for the final match. It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Victor of the Tavarian War. Conqueror of the Quatan Plains, defender of the Navala Coast. As has his family for generations, General Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere fraction of them. A full recitation would take days. Fight! <laughs> Done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earth Realm wins. <clears throat> May I assist you? 
Stay away, Earthrealmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the Outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come, let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. Good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the Hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the Hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the Hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Anything else? Shang Tsung is a master of deceit. Do not trust a word he utters. Sounds a lot like my first agent. It's a tricky mission. I'd rather Raiden go along than this one. Hey! This one is up for the job. This mission must be done quietly. I am breaking my word with Empress Sindel by sending you into Outworld without her knowledge. Due to the tournament, Raiden is now a familiar face there. Sending him will only increase your risk of being discovered. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's Qi. Follow it to him. And be careful. May the Elder Gods protect you. Are we there yet? Again? How old are you? Five? What can I say? These boots weren't made for walking. If that is the most pain you feel today, consider yourself lucky. Oh, I'm already lucky. I've got Sento strapped to my back. I will reclaim it, Cage. Got three million? It's yours. You know I don't have it. I bet you your Kuzpals pals could come up with it. Oh, that's right. You blew him off. Ah, if there's one lesson Hollywood's taught me, it's never burn bridges. You never know who can help. The Yakuza are leeches, bleeding out those too weak to resist. I grew up in that life, and I never understood it. Why my gain required others' pain. I got out. I need my clan out, too. We can't be part of their crimes any longer.
What's your precious say? That Chang Sung is among those things. Oh, my fans are gonna go nuts cosplaying them a cage gone. Hold him still. If he squirms, I cannot extract marrow. That's Shang Tsu. Let's jump him after he's done. Oh, in fists of iron? We did this thing where, like, we... are not basing strategy on your movies, Cage. Let me go! You can't do this! The wound will heal in time. It is a small price to pay for progress. On second thought, this scene's playing fine without us. <gasps> yeah, I say we let him finish it. We have to save Shang Tsung. Liu Kang needs him alive. To, but you can't. You're one of his minions. You'll die in his place. Fight! like, but we don't work for Shang Tsung. If not, why save him? Because Liu Kang, Earthrealm's protector, wants to question him. He thinks Shang Tsung may be a threat to both our realms. I'm Kenshi Takahashi. <laughs> our kind do not shake hands. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. Don't you know what we are? No. We don't. We are victims of Tarkat. The disease is not easily gotten, but you can't risk more close exposure. It disfigures, then debilitates. In time, it will turn us all into bloodthirsty monsters. Death is our only release. So you weren't always like this? I was once a rich merchant, but when I became ill, I was banished. Now I run this colony. I am Baraka. What does Shang Tsung want with your bone marrow, Baraka? I don't know, but he comes here each month to harvest it. 
Release us, and we'll capture Shang Tsung. And we'll find out why he's been coming here. I promise. Let them go. Thank you. We won't let you down. Damn. This was guiding us to Shang Tsung. Now we can't find him. His laboratory is near. I'll take you. Any idea what to expect? No. I've never been inside. Stay here. We'll check it out. The addition of crushed chitin larva proved an inspired choice. In testing, outcomes improved significantly. I have modified the formula since the last time it was administered. It uses several new ingredients. This new serum is exactly what we need. Its effects will be immediate and long-lasting. How can you be sure? Because it is brewed from freshly extracted Tarkatan marrow. It couldn't be more potent. He is infecting Melina with Tarkat. He's got two of Sindel's top dogs in on it. No wonder Liu Kang is worried about this guy. We need to stop him. Save a distressed damsel? <laughs> sure thing. Get away from her, you bitch. Excuse me? You know, the movie. Tiny girl, ginormous alien. Ripley! No? Seriously? <laughs> Earthrealmers. How did they find it? They've already seen too much. I need time. Buy it for me. Liu Kang sent you, didn't he? Sent you to learn our secrets. He sent us here for Shang Tsung, but it looks like he's just part of the problem. Fight! Interfere in Imperial matters. It is you, not I, who is the schemer here. Fight!
plot ends here, Ungadi. Fight! <laughs> You've been a thorn in my side. You Earthrealmers do have unhealthy habits. You heard him. You're not infecting her with Tarka. I am trying to protect her, not infect her. We've heard about how you lie. Excuse us if we're skeptical. Cover him. Princess, are you all right? Is it over? Yes, you're safe. We've stopped Shang Tsung. Stopped him? Why? Princess! Princess, what's wrong? What did you do to her? It's what you've done, fool. Let me help her before it's too late. Time to finish more serum. Johnny, a hand? We got pages for this? Or are we winging it? Whatever we do, we can't hurt her. Her? I'm worried about us. <laughs> Princess, we can help you. Your blood. I smell it. How sweet it will be to lick off my fingers. Kong Lao, help hold her down. It's now or never, Shang Tsung.
the gods! Melina! What's happened here, sorcerer? These men were sent to disrupt your sister's treatment and scandalize Outworld by revealing her illness. What? That's totally fake news! Princess, we were... Thank you, Goro. I've no stomach for Earthrealm lies. We should detain the Earthrealmers and the Tarkatan we found outside. At least until the Empress is ready to respond to this incursion. Agreed. But she must realize that this incident proves Earthrealm's bad faith. We must strike them now to protect ourselves. No. no. They would not do this. There must be a misunderstanding. No misunderstanding, Princess. It is a confirmation of my prophecy. Left unchecked, Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. I apologize for not arriving sooner to defend your sister. I am glad she received her treatment. The Princess is safe, but the threat from Earthrealm remains. Yes. Quan Chi, when do you anticipate they will strike? Soon. Today's events were foretold in the final quatrains of the prophecy. Then I am right. We must act now, Princess. I will take your concerns to the Empress. It is for her to decide. Rain, Tanya, assist me. What truly happened here, Sorcerer? That the Earthrealmers interrupted the Princess's treatment was happenstance. They were here to capture me for Liu Kang. You? Why? That I must investigate. For now, let us revel in our good fortune. The Earthrealmers' serendipitous arrival has given us ample evidence to convince the Empress of the truth of Quan Chi's prophecy. Conflict with Earthrealm is now inevitable. Not necessarily. The Empress has never been eager for conflict. If she resists, she will be replaced. Outworld needs a steadfast leader. A leader like you, perhaps. If my realm requires it of me, Kill the Earthrealmers. They cannot report back to Liu Kang. Oh, their deaths will also feed the Isle between realms. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Our benefactor will be pleased. She needs the realms at war, not at the brink of it, in order to conquer them both. Only then will we rule at her side. Before she found me languishing in the mines, I would not have thought such a thing possible. But soon, she left transformed us from serfs into scions. Will ya? 
to keep my mind off this. Tell me about life before you got sick. I was doing well, trading goods up and down the Farta coast. My family was comfortable, happy. <sighs> then Tarkat came. It took my wife, then my children. Cruelly, it lets me live for now. I think it enjoys ravaging my body more slowly. Ugh. This hangover. Oh. Can she? God damn it. How bad's the pain? Excruciating. You saved me. I won't forget that. But you may just regret it. What are you doing? Take the left turn into survival horror. This is Shang Tsung's real laboratory. We're beneath where we were before. That was a false front. Reminds me of this cheap-ass film I did in my early days. The Flesh Pits. God, that was trash. Who's that? Our jailer. Is he? His eyes are gouged out. Guess. That will dull the pain. You're vile to be part of this. You are Shang Tsung's prisoner. I am his slave. He has my family. He'll kill them if I don't obey. So how does it work? You just shape shift in anything you want? I can shift only between this and my natural form. Whoa. You're Zeteran. Your race can shape shift. None can except me. Are they ready? It's time. Time for what, sorcerer? Replication experiments. They begin with your vivisection. I'll use your harvested parts to build new creations. The process is fatal, of course. Liu Kang won't let you get away with this. <laughs> that presumes he will ever learn what happened. But when I am done, there will be no trace left of you. I shall return soon to check progress. I have other matters to which I must attend. You don't have to do this! It's either you or my family. Put them in the chambers! <laughs> 